the the whole thing is like is is somewhat confusing when you work on a picture for like as long as I've been working on Mad God uh, when you're done shooting you're just kind of lost um, because you 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 acquire some kind of a postpartum depression and um, and yeah that's kind of what I'm working through right now is just like uh, letting letting this thing settle there's still more work to be done on it but uh, it's more post-production everything changed uh, in the process of doing it like these things do you know so I had you know like this general idea for you know uh, it was more like a feeling I had like about eight pages of material that, that that's, that's pretty much what I what I worked from is I I knew the basic narrative through line that I wanted and because uh, it was kind of a, a balance between breaking a narrative and um, and creating one so it was uh, kind of things that were you know um, at odds with each other. What it, you know, was really inspired was when I was like about 10 years old, my dad showed me a book of uh, Hieronymus Bosch paintings. And, uh, you know, I'd always wanted to make a, some kind of a movie that was a version of a uh, Bruegel or, or Bosch paintings. And um, that had that same kind of feeling that, um, particularly, uh, Bosch was a lot more playful than Bruegel. Bruegel uh, displayed like... Um, the events that were going on at his time uh, relatively realistically and Bosch uh, created these phantasmagorical uh, images of um, heaven and hell and his hell stuff was really interesting to me because at once it's horrific and at the same time it's there's a playful and quizzical element to it and I wanted to find some kind of a balance that was that was kind of like that because the deeper I got into making the thing the more heavy it was and grotesque and I just wanted something that would uh, lift it up so I, I started trying to infuse what I had uh, with more, or what I was going to be doing with, with more and it's kind of hard to call it humor but it's just like a little bit more lightness you know some of the humor is dark and uh, so some people don't get that but it was to tr just try and find this this balance between the two and now that i've got pretty much all of it assembled um you know i realized that this battle uh you know was a failure because the, there wasn't any way to without being like really gaggy balance the horror and, and the humor yeah so the the thing about bosch that i i really liked that was that his fantastic um, phantasmagorical world um, was a reflection of his time and if you go back and you read the, the literature of what the different things meant there would be like some weird gnome thing with like a, a funnel on his head and so that meant something that doesn't mean anything to us now or if you go back in the literature you can see what it meant to the people at that time but what I wanted to try and do something like that. So, you know, to me, a lot of it is, is it's not a chronicle, but it, it's like, it's a, um, a version of our time in terms of it's kind of schizophrenia. And um, that was the intent.